title of this is um, Newcomer's Guide to Doctor Who. Yeah. So basically, we want to know exactly, like, because you're interested in Doctor Who. You, wa- you read about it on the internet. You haven't really watched a lot of episodes, and you want to get some of the toys. So tell me what you know about Doctor Who. So I know about Doctor Who. It's like they're all mysteries. There's a TARDIS box, creatures like the Weeping Angel. What's the other one? You said it was a trash can? Well, yeah. Yeah, but it's actually a monster. There's a, some guy called the Sixth Doctor, I think. Uh huh. The Sixth, not Sick. Uh huh. I don't know really much about him, but. Hmm. Oh, tell me how the time travel works. So, like, in a TARDIS box, so you can go, like, in time, but but not, like, actually go in time, like, like rip the, the commercial or if you saw, like, like Peabody and Sherman, you just go, like, places, like, you went before, like, I, like you used the TARDIS box, like, I'm going to go to the mountains and you simply spawn on the mountains, yeah. And so you so you can't pick out any time in the world. It's only places that you've been before. Mm-hmm. Okay. So like if you've been to McDonald's, you can go to McDonald's in, in like nineteen nineteen eighty five. You can go like actually any place you want, even the places you went before. Okay. So you you can still like if you've never been to the mountain, you can go to the mountain. Mm-hmm. So how come it doesn't work like Doctor Peabody's time machine? What's different? Because like in the TARDIS box, it's all like software and hardware mixed together. Okay. And like there's switches that like, and there's like no buttons like that tell you like year, whatever, month, whatever. You just have to know how it works? Yeah. Okay. And like no day, day, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. How big is the TARDIS? Did I say ten feet up tall? Yeah, you you used it. You're telling me. Yes, yes, ten feet tall. Okay. Like this big. Uh huh. Well, in life size, it's, it's this big. It doesn't take up space when you first go inside it, but but it's 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 skinny and and it's, and and not like take up space, just like a line. So you would you say it's bigger on the inside than the outside? Yeah. So that's the end of uh, of Jacob Lee Hopkins' newcomer's guide of Doctor Who.